Well, take a look at this surveillance cameras capturing that tornado as it hit in Delray Beach this morning. CBS 4's Joan Murray covering the cleanup there for us tonight. Joan. Yeah, Rick, uh, we are in Delray Beach, Atlantic Avenue, just a few minutes west of I-95, uh, about 20 miles north of Coconut Creek, where we were yesterday. This tornado today, nothing like compared to yesterday, but still, it did cause some damage. What you're looking at is uh, the tree limbs down there, still cleaning up the yard here of this church here, and there were some other problems throughout the city. As the wind and rain picked up in the courtyard of St. Mary's Anglican Church in Delray Beach, assistant J.P. Listick sees someone at the door. Now watch what happens as she opens it for the delivery man. I felt like I was being sucked out into a tour. I mean, you know, you know when you feel like you're being sucked out. So I grabbed the door, Ryan grabbed me, and he's 6'2". It took the two of us to close the door. After the tornado blew through, tree limbs were scattered all around the churchyard. The metal fence was bent and power lines were down. Pretty frightening, very frightening. A few blocks away, Patricia Kretschmer saw patio furniture fly That's by her, uh, into the pond behind her home. It was so quick. It was so quick. It's like it was just a couple of minutes. It was a table like that, right? And I just swept over the glass. The wind the sent a glass table crashing on Bob Winter's back patio. So I said to my wife, I said, look at the wind all of a sudden coming this way. And then I just turned around and all of a sudden like a big whoosh. And I turned around. This, she looked and she saw the wind swirling. Things went crashing and flying. And we got up and we ran to the back into the middle. The National Weather Service estimates the winds of this tornado were between 65 and 85 miles an hour. J.P. Listick is thankful no one was hurt. It's all external. And um, everybody's okay, so we're very blessed, very thankful. Back here live, and you can see that power pole is bent over. FBNL working hard to restore all the power in this area from these down lines, and the cleanup goes on here. We'll have more of that coming up at six o'clock. Reporting in Delray Beach, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.